are guys, San Antonio, Texas. Our first Goodwill right there behind me. We're gonna go check it out, see what we get. We don't have a lot of room, but uh, we'll see what we can sneak away with. Stepping inside our first Goodwill, let's take a look at what we find. Right away down here, a big rig, not bad. Always good to see Mega XL. Five bucks is a bit steep for me though. So we're gonna put that off to the side. And one of these old school Busby, I think this is a Predator. Uh, not something I'm looking for right now. Looking down here though, here's something that caught my eye. This is a Frantic Fury. This is a blast I remember wanting back in the day. I just didn't have room for it. 399 was a fair price, but the stock was a little damaged. Over here was something else I saw in Adventure Force. I think this is a Power Bolt. I believe it's basically like a Sidewinder, but with a chain. So, pretty cool to see. Setting that back aside, over here, one of these Star Wars Rogue One, I think this is Captain uh, Andor's Blaster? Could be wrong, feel free to correct me, but it lit up once, and then it wouldn't repeat. <laughs> oh well. Setting that back down, let's keep on looking, there's a lot of stuff to look through here. Over here, a Quick 16 from the Dark Tag line, in really good shape. Um, but sadly, it's not really compatible with anything nowadays. You can do some mod work on it, but uh, in my opinion, it's just a trophy piece. But I already have a couple. We're here, buried. A Mega Cyclone Shock. Cool to see. Always love seeing Mega Love. And this actually is a very reliable blaster. But I do like the Roto Fury a little bit more. Down here, a Busby Sonic. I actually really like this one, it lights up, lights and sound. This one not so much, no batteries, or it was broken, but one of my favorite off-brand blasters. Here though, something that's been on my list for a while, the Ultimate Berserker. This is a combination hemp, as well as an auto-rotating cylinder. Over here next, a, an Adventure Force uh, Revolter, I believe. And then a Liberator from Adventure Force, because I always see Liberators everywhere, even up here in San Antonio. Down here next, a barricade. Cool. My buddy Not Enough Nerd just found one of these. So uh, his restoring video was very interesting, but I didn't need it, so passed up on it. It did work, however, so that's cool to see. Then a dual strike. Cool to see, but didn't need it. And then something, oh my goodness, a Hades. A Hades for $7.99. I regret not getting it. I just physically did not have the room for it. Believe me guys, I wanted this so bad. Over here, an X-Shot uh, cylinder drum, drum cylinder. I don't know the name of this one, it's one of the earlier ones. Feel free to correct me if you know. And over here, a an X-Shot super drum, at least super drum mold. It even says super drum on it, haha, <laughs> fantastic. And down here, the actual Toys R Us version of the Power Bolt. Pretty cool to see. No chain on this one, though. But still interesting to see. I love seeing old Toys R Us stuff. And over here, one of the Fortnite Mega Shotguns. Very aesthetically appealing blaster, but does not perform well at all. Single shot, no bueno. And over here in the back, an Eradicator, because of course. Always missing the barrel and always looking gimpy without it. Over here though, going around the corner, I did find this really nice standing target. I'm considering getting this for future videos. And then a clear 12 round mag. I've never seen these before, so I picked that up. And down here, my girlfriend pointed out to me, she saw these old uh, Rebel uh, Power Bows. I don't know the exact name on it, so feel free to correct me, but she was really interested in them, and so was I, but without the ammo, these are pretty much useless, and that's very sad to see. Over here, short distance, over a Magnum X2 Super Drum. Uh, still in the box, but it was labeled as defective, but still cool to see in the box, especially for that price. And then an Air Zone Toys R Us, uh, I just call it a Big Bad Bow variant, I don't know the official name. Feel free to let me know, but this has been on my list for a while. Heading on to the next Goodwill in the area. 
These are all new to me, so very interesting to see the goofy stuff that's here. Like this weird Transformers car that was kind of broken because the door just opened on its own. I think it was Stinger from the one of the Bay Michael Bay movies. <laughs> but moving down here, here we have a Adventure Force crossbow, Busby crossbow. Cool to see, especially if you like that emotional archery feel. And a Nitro, I think, Chaos Storm or Chaos Fury. I have one of these already. I wanted to get it for the clip, but uh, once again, room was against me. An Adventure Force Sentry, cool to see. An old school recon with a clip in actually really good shape. 399 is a bit high though. Down here, Retaliator, the bigger brother of the recon. Cool to see. And then moving over here, found an Ultra 1. I was tempted to get, but uh, it looked like it was damaged. The, the jamming door wasn't staying closed and everything, so I passed on it. Plus space, I had to make tough decisions. Especially with this, oh my god, this is an old school Air Warriors Extreme Range Master. This has a small air tank in it, so it gets really good ranges. Uh, over here though, I did find a green destroyer. I've never seen this one before. No price though, so they wouldn't sell it to me. Had to pass on it, sadly. But it's really cool to see the green destroyer in the wild. And then over here, a Nerf Elite 2.0 Commander. No thank you, that can stay here. But, but over here I did find the Fortnite Large Sniper Rifle, which I've been eyeing for a bit. Performs a lot better than Centurion. I really wanted it, but the size couldn't justify it. So, uh, yeah, had to move along. My biggest regret, leaving that behind. Over here, a roundhouse. Cool to see for the rival line. Have a few of these already, though. Then a Mega Magnus right next to it. Cool. That's not bad to see. Then over here, hiding, I saw it. One of the uh, modulus, uh, it's the bolt ones. I don't really like this one. It's very inferior at least for war practicality and then one of the zombie strike water pistols I had run across this one uh, a few days back out of another thrift back in my area so excited to see but uh, not really that impressive some X-Shot laser pistols here I was like hey that's that's cool I see these pretty regularly but not with the cables and the attached glasses with them so And then over here, a good old-fashioned Nightfinder. Yep, $2.99. Okay, that can stay here. But I did find this weird Super Game one. Uh, it seemed really weird, really cheap, so I left it behind. So we headed to our next Goodwill. Step inside, take a look. And this one was actually pretty slim pickings, even though everything was in good shape. Like this Flip Fury here. It was uh, just very small amount of nerf stuff. I don't know if this one gets frequented a lot or not, not like those other ones. Here a surge fire, cool to see. Don't like it as much as the villainator though, but side tangent, side tangent. I mean there's certainly a fair amount of stuff here like this claw, but it's not necessarily anything I was looking for, so I was a bit disappointed. I guess I got a bit spoiled with the other thrifts coming in looking for gold and all I'm seeing is strong arms and flip furies and and surge fires, you know, it, it does kind of put you off a little bit. A scout mark two, I'm sorry, recon mark two, cool to see. Really like this blaster because of the handguard, I won't lie. Very appealing to me. Then up here, let's look around at one of these old school X shot. Uh, I don't even know the name of this one, let me know if you do know. In this bag, one of the uh, triads as well as the Jolt Fortnite buses. That's cool, I guess. I don't know if I'll sell it open. But here was some classicness. This is a Busby. Good old fashioned Busby water gun, the Gorgon from the Water Warriors line. I had to leave it. I hate myself for leaving it. Amazing blaster. Next, these two strong arms. One here and then one right there. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I don't need two more strong arms. In fact, I think I have too many strong arms. So I'm going to just go ahead and put these together and do hashtag the Lord's work. 
Over here though I did find a clear shot from the Zombie Strike line. This is a remake of I think it's called the Storm Fury from the Dart Tag line. Very rare to see for the Zombie Strike line. I might pick this up. That is very rare to find in my opinion. My neck of the woods. A red Apollo next. Cool I guess. I'm never going to use it. Springs are good uh, to use for donors though. Looking around over here a bit more. Uh, the Alpha Strike a Quadrant, 349 it's not a bad price, not a great price. And one of the uh, Fortnite Jolts here, cool. Looking around, finally something good, an X-Shot, one of the Dino Blasters. This was cool to see, especially for 449 And then one of the Tri-Break, I think that's what the name of the little attachments were, the Tri-Break, Tri-Strike, sorry, Tri-Strike uh, Rocket Launchers, cool to find. Never any rockets though. Then something odd. A zombie strike rip chain that almost ripped itself that actually had the chain I was tempted to get it just for that but once again space space was against me I had to prioritize keep things in check and then over here one of these weird uh, fast shots I don't know it's just weird to see like off-brand blasters finally we're heading into a store I have never been to before Ollie's and right away I was not disappointed by what I saw. A demolisher set for Ollie's. I think they wanted about 40 bucks for it, 40, 50 bucks for it. A bit high, but totally worth it in my opinion. Over here I did find a lot, and I mean a lot of the Dart Zone watermelon darts. I would have bought some if I didn't just buy some perch recently back at home. One of the Alien Menace line uh, melee weapons, the Foam Mall Axe, had to get this. It's some rival rounds on clearance, cool to see. Actually, I don't know if this is necessarily clearance. These are just like Ollie prices. And an ammo box if you need FVJs for whatever reason. Uh, don't like this ammo myself, but I decided to show it off. Some people do like FVJs. Some X-Shot stuff here. The Dino Line on clearance, which I had just saw this at my TJ Maxx. So that was odd to see. Uh, some of the Mega Ammo on clearance if you want official Mega Ammo. Underneath that right here, some Ultra Ammo on clearance. Cool to see, I guess, but not the accurate ones. But the, what I finally came to find, Vortex Ammo, yes, give me that please, I need it. Down here, a couple of roundhouses, some takedowns, good to see it at nice Ollie discount prices. Some Alpha Strike stuff here, and then down here, some weird Lennard uh, Huntsman stuff. The blasters themselves weren't interesting to me, but the ammo was, it looked really interesting, really odd, this weird kind of almost like kind of like reverse suction cup design here's another example of it more up close it's got like a double breach in the tip so that was kind of interesting to see this ammo and this blaster line really interested me but that's not why I was there for the moment this actually did look like an old Jaguar if you guys remember that from the old Air Warriors line air pressure then pumped there up here one of the Fortnite blasters an Elite 2.0 Phoenix next to it not bad and some of these bunkers which I would have gotten except I already have a lot of these and I got them a lot cheaper than Ollie's so uh, still cool to see especially this one the toxic barrel one that is the one I'm missing but like I said that wasn't what I was there for I was there for vortex ammo and if I could find some nitro ammo over here this uh, weird modulus pump blaster I have this but it's weird that it's presented upside down here I, I don't know why <laughs> finally some of the nitro ammo I have Nitro Blasters, I was excited to have ammo to actually shoot them. On the way out we did find a Texas Thrift and the sun was setting so we're like, let's get in, let's get out. Found a face shield right away, looked like for rival one, but off brand. Down here there was just a whole mess of stuff guys. I'm going to get overwhelmed trying to go over it, I'm just speaking honestly. So please kindly go gently on me, have mercy on me. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff to look through. I was literally overwhelmed. Me and my girlfriend were overwhelmed. We're like, this is a lot of crap. A lot of crap to go through. Especially like this old style uh, uh, long shot here. Put that down. Don't need that. Down here, a Nitron Blaster. Which I was like, oh my god. An actual Nitron. But the drum was stuck on the rear. They even asked my girlfriend to help hold it for me. I'm like, let me see if I can get this drum free. If I can get the drum free, then maybe we'll take it. Spoiler, we couldn't get the drum free. So I ended up leaving it. Lasai. We hear the front attachment for the uh, Nerf Elite Long Strike. 
I believe. Feel free to correct me, like I said, I'm trying to go through a lot of this really quickly. Some disruptors, some bow shots, uh, some of the adventure force blasters, there's a lot of crap here. Uh, I thought this was one of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy blasters, it wasn't. Moving along, a recon, cool. Not with the stock though, so left it behind. Another destroyer. So much stuff here. The, the prices for destroyers here were really good, especially for 198. If I didn't just pick one up recently, I would have gotten it. Over here, a nitron. Proton, sorry, a proton. Cool to see a proton. Cyclone shock up here. And of course, another frantic fury. This one without the stock, but with the barrel. So a bit of a trade-off there. Still didn't get this one though. Space was against me, especially when it's, you see what I had already picked up. This weird Dino Blaster just looked goofy. Uh, Tech 6 here, good spring upgrades. Not for that price though. <laughs> Another Night Finder. Cool to see. There was just so much crap here, guys. More disruptors. Um, over here, these bug attack shotguns. This one was modded with a K26. And I was tempted to buy it just to get the K26 from it. But, uh, nah, I couldn't justify it. Especially with the limited amount of space I had. An equalizer here. And let me see, what else do we got? There's just so much, like literally, guys. I look up and like, oh look, I think that's Ray's Blaster from Star Wars, the, the, the prequel series, or I'm sorry, sequel series. A Roto Fury for the Mega Line, cool to see. And down here an Adventure Force uh, Sentry. Decent. One of the crossbow, cross bolts, I'm sorry, for the Nerf Elite line. Very cool blaster. Really like it. Very silent but deadly. But it's prone to jam, especially if you don't know how to unjam it. Down here a Sidewinder. No barrel. Didn't even bother. Move the little dino aside. A six shot, original X shot, six shot, but it was broken, it wasn't catching. So I left it behind. I have a video idea in mind, but I left it for reasons. A Tech 4. Cool. And an X shot uh, 4 Fury. Right next to an X shot Ninja 4 Fury. Over here, though, a Havoc, an Adventure Force Havoc. This is old school, especially, but uh, it's missing the clip, so I have to leave it. Down here, this is the uh, Adventure, I'm sorry, Busby. I think it was a Vampire Hunter. Missing the arms, of course. This was supposed to be a crossbow launcher. Some jolts, which somebody painted black for some reason. Don't do that to your blasters. It just looks tacky. Some more X-Shot blasters here. This is when X-Shot was trying to do their own clip system. Pretty cool to see. I actually really like their clips, though. Even though they're, they're proprietary. A Super Drum for the X-Shot line. Cool to see. And just so much stuff here. Another destroyer, guys. See, 199. The, the destroyers here were really affordable. Over here, a slam fire. I'm sorry, double fire. Reviewed this. It's already here. This really weird uh, blaster. Didn't know what that was from. Another Adventure Force destroyer there. The prices are really good, as, like I said. Another X Shot Ninja for Fury. Cool to see. Same blaster, move it aside. Another Adventure Force Destroyer, you see. I'm not making it up. I'm not just showing the same one multiple times. There is a lot of them here. And a Busby Tech 5. I was really tempted to get this, but it is not practical. I'm probably an idiot for passing on it. I'm not going to lie. Another Sentry. Over here, a Star. Very cool. And then over here... A gem or clash combat on the other side. A trio. Now that can stay here. Don't really like Elite 2.0. And an Adventure Force style flip fury. I forget the official name. Feel free to correct me down below. Like I said, this was a lot to process, a lot to unpack, a lot for us to go through for just the two people that were there. I needed a team. Where are my boys at to help me tackle this mess? Especially with all these little like knickknacks I'm finding that are relevant. But anywho guys, let's look at Bumblebee and let's just head on to our reveal because I didn't get a lot, but what I got was Primo. Alright guys, so what did I end up getting on my trip? Okay, preference this by saying I got a lot of shit, but I didn't get everything I wanted to. 
We sadly were in a vehicle, we had very limited space, but I smuggled all I could away, and believe me, if I would have had more space, I would have gotten even more than this. A lot of things I saw there were just like mind-blowing in regards to like just seeing stuff in the wild. And that's always what I love about traveling, uh, going to different thrifts, going to different like flea markets, secondhand stores, what have you, just to see. <clears throat> all right, first thrift store we went to, one of the Goodwills. Here's what I ended up walking away with. I ended up walking away with the uh, 12 mag clear. For $3.99, that's it is a bit much, but I never find the clear mags uh, in orange, especially the 12 rounders. So it looks in real good shape. So super excited to get that. And then I also got something of a rarity. Most people don't know this. Uh, this blaster came out in the dark tag line, um, and then they re released it with a zombie stripe line, which is this one. I forget the name of it right now. I'm probably going to put the name down below in post production. This one's really cool, it's a direct plunger, it kind of seats back in, but this one seems like maybe there's something loose inside, so I'm probably going to fix that. Let me go ahead and fire it off, make sure it works. Dart from the plinker bin, and it's like half capacity, something's loose inside. Probably the air restrictor's giving up the ghost or something. I can fix that easily, this is a very simple blaster to fix. But the shell, especially with the Zombie Strike moniker, very rare. All right, next I'm gonna talk about the big boy I got. And it wasn't the Haiti, sadly. That was a bit too big for my current packaging. What I ended up getting is a very vintage Busby Blaster, which is the ultimate Berserker. For those of you who don't know, this is a, uh, a hemp blaster, so pump it up. And then there's our um, rocket launcher there in the middle which is still holds pressure. And then on top of that, these can be taken out, rebarreled to fit current darts, and this could be a very, like, war practical blaster. Very excited to get this. This has been on my bucket list for a while because it's just such a beast. A little bit of shell damage there, but considering that the pump itself works, real excited to get this. Okay, next up, what I got was something that I thought I would never see. This is something that was a Toys R Us exclusive from Primetime Toys 2007. This is an Air Zone uh, bow. It's basically equivalent of the Big Bad Bow. You prime it back here by pulling that. And then when it shoots off, that has a mean spring and a mean trigger pull to it. This can easily be downgraded to make it look more practical. Very similar to what we used to do with the Big Bad Bows. I'll put a photo so this way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Very easy to narrow it down. This air restrictor pops off. You can reseed it for um, elite style darts. So it works very well. So I'm really happy to see this. Real excited to get it. I never thought I would see this in person because it was a Toys R Us exclusive as you guys can see. There Toys R Us. And Toys R Us at least in the States doesn't exist anymore. And it primes here instead of with a big bad bow the whole assembly pulling back so oof, that's beefy i gotta reinforce that but it all works great as far as thrift goes that's pretty much it like i said we were very limited on space but i was able to clean up at ollie's i can guarantee you that even got a bag for it so first up what i got because i'm really into collecting the melee line is from the nerf alien menace line which is like an axe or like a tonfa or something. I think it's odd because it shows it to you, but it doesn't show any of the aliens or any of the humans actually using it. So you're supposed to like grip it in the middle. Let's go ahead and get it open. I'm actually might use this at war. All right, so fully liberated this is how it looks. Not bad in hand like this. So pretty much you're gonna like tap people or stab people. Or even like if you want to like tonfa it, you can like slash people. Ugh. I don't know, it's not the best melee weapon, but considering I have zero nerf melee at the moment, really excited to get this. My girlfriend was like, we're getting that, regardless of what you say. And I was like, good, because I was gonna get it anyways. <laughs> All right, next up, I got a couple of nerf nitro packs from Ollie's. Really excited to see these. For those of you who don't know, I don't have an Ollie's in my area. So when I saw these, I had to go for them. But yeah, a two pack, that's 12 cars. I actually do have a couple of nitro blasters. I haven't ever talked about them or used them because I never had ammo. 
and that changes now. For those of you who don't know, the Nitro cars are entirely foam, but there is a plastic undercarriage and plastic wheels. Now, if you were to get hit with them, you're just going to feel foam. These don't shoot at high enough velocity to actually hurt somebody, and I have seen people use these in wars, and it's hilarious. So, I will hopefully be running Nitro in a war near you soon. And last but not least, I did clean up all I could with the Nerf Vortex ammo. I had seen some comments for some people, especially my, my buddy Not Enough Nerf, so shout out to him below. Uh, where he had told me that, yeah, you can get new Vortex ammo at Ollie's, and I was like, I don't have an Ollie's near me. And I just so happened to search for an Ollie's when we were up in San Antonio, which is about three or four hours away from me, and boom, there was one Ollie's there. Checked it out, bought all they had. And there we go. So, for your enjoyment, I will be unboxing these all and adding them to my Vortex bin. So enjoy the ASMR of Bots and Blasters adding Vortex ammo to his bin. In all seriousness though, I'm really glad to get these. I will gladly get Vortex ammo anytime I can. I've actually been wanting to run Vortex for a while in wars, but uh, the ammo is just so hard to find and the uh, aftermarket stuff, it's okay, I'll say that. It doesn't compare, but it's okay. Like, if you have to get it compared to nothing, then yeah, by all means. But yes, this was a Vortex ammo that was re-released in 2017. Yeah, 2017, so that's why it looks this way. And it was a Target exclusive. So yeah, let's go ahead and open these all. Get them home! Look at how much ammo I have now. But still, I want more, especially if I'm going to seriously be wanting to run Vortex in a war soon. Uh, if you see any more Vortex, or know any other places I can buy it, specifically the legit ammo, please let me know. Okay, last and certainly not least, it isn't Nerf specific related, but it is channel related. I did end up picking up that large target set, and this is pretty big. It's about four feet tall. Ended up taking it apart partly this way I could reassemble it. But I'll go ahead and include a picture on the side here so we can see just how big it is in comparison to my original target. And this is going to be great to take out to the range and just to generally show better accuracy. I'm still working on getting a crony. People have asked me, how come no crony data? Because the crony I have, I don't trust. I'll be straight up. I got a better crony coming, so. But yeah, guys, this was it. Everything I got on my trip, like I've said before, I didn't have a lot of room, but I bought everything I could manage. There we go. So yeah, I'm really glad for everything I've got, really thankful, really glad for the trip and the mess. And just a little bit of vacation, I'm going to be getting back to making videos full, full steam now, full speed ahead. And if you like this content, if you want to see more Nerf thrifting, more just fun Nerf goodness, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, pass along, and we have a very important announcement coming out in the next couple of weeks involving something very important, which we have dubbed Foam After Dark. But more on that shortly. Until then, guys, this is Bots and Blasters. See you guys next time on the battlefield. No, you don't.